Have you ever wondered what happens when the person in control of a massive flying machine is too tired to function optimally? The impact of pilot fatigue on flight safety is a complex issue that requires careful examination. If a pilot is on duty for 13 hours, her, his state is similar to a person with a blood alcohol concentration of nearly 0.03%, which is the limit for driving. In India, the blood alcohol limit for pilots is zero. First let's delve into the concept of fatigue. Fatigue in this context is a state of mental or physical weariness that results from prolonged periods of physical or mental activity. In the aviation industry fatigue can be a result of sleep loss, extended time awake, irregular sleep patterns and workload. It not only decreases in-flight performance but also has negative long-term effects on a pilot's health. Now, when it comes to managing pilot fatigue, the International Civil Aviation Organization requires states to put in place regulations for managing fatigue based on scientific principles, either through mandatory prescriptive regulations on flight time, flight duty period, duty period and rest period limitations, or optional fatigue risk management systems FRMs, regulations. The former, as the name suggests, prescribes the maximum amount of time a pilot can spend in flight and on duty. However, this method has its limitations as it does not effectively address the effects of fatigue. On the other hand, a fatigue management system, as recommended by the ICAO is based on the principles of the safety management system, and a data-driven means of continuously monitoring and maintaining fatigue-related safety risks, based upon scientific principles and knowledge, as well as operational experience that aims to ensure relevant personnel are performing at adequate levels of alertness, However, not all aviation authorities, like the Directorate General of Civil Aviation in India, have implemented this system mandatorily. Now let's look at some important facts about pilot fatigue. According to studies conducted by NASA and the European Aviation Safety Agency, science supports a maximum of 10 hours of flight duty period, either day or night. Beyond this, the performance decrement due to extended hours of being awake is equivalent to the performance decrement observed with a rise in blood alcohol concentration. Furthermore, the probability of an accident increases by one and a half times with a flight duty period between 10 and 13 hours. If the flight duty period extends beyond 13 hours, the risk increases by five and a half times. A recent survey conducted by the Safety Matters Foundation revealed that over half of the pilots suffer from severe excessive daytime sleepiness. Almost half responded that they are fatigued for the next flight and a significant majority admitted to often feeling so tired that they shouldn't have been performing cockpit duty. These facts highlight the urgency of addressing pilot fatigue. It's a matter of safety, for the pilots, for the passengers, and for the aviation industry as a whole. The right to rest, as stated by Justice Chauhan of the Supreme Court of India, is as fundamental as the right to breathe, to eat, to drink. In conclusion, while science supports a 10-hour flight duty period as a rule, and 13 hours as an exception, it is paramount that aviation authorities worldwide prioritize implementing effective fatigue management systems. This is a wake-up call for all stakeholders in the aviation industry. The safety of our skies depends on the alertness of our pilots, and that alertness depends on their right to rest and recover.